हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल सो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन डोंट ट्राई टू काउंट बाई कोर्ट फोर्सेज सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेट चार्ट गिवन अ स्ट्रिंग एक्स ऑफ लेंथ एन अ स्ट्रिंग एस ऑफ लेंथ एम वेयर एन एम इज लेस देन इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ लोअर केस लेटर लेटर्स यू कैन अप्लाई एनी नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन टू स्ट्रिंग एक्स इन वन ऑपरेशन यू अपेंड द करेंट वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स टू द एंड ऑफ स्ट्रिंग एक्स Note that value of x change after this. So if you have x as a b a, then first it will change to a b a a b a twice and then four times. So like this we can change x. We need to know minimum number of operations as will appear in x as a substring. So a substring is defined as a contiguous segment of it. So suppose here i have a b a so let my s b b a b now i want b a b to appear in x so i will start checking as i have here a b a so i will append a b a here like this we keep on appending and uh, as you can see from this observation we will not get bab now suppose if i want to have b a a b then yes we can have and it's possible in a single operation so our output would be one here now looking at the test cases to understand it in a more better way so the first test case is simple a and we need five times a so in first operation we have a a in second operation this string is added remember that original string is not added the modified string is added so a a is added to this now we have four times a but we need five times so we will replicate this also so it will be eight times a a a a a like this and now you can see we got five times a so how many operations we have done first was adding a second this block and third whole string so three operations so like this we need to have the count now to get this count you can very easily do appending the string like if you have e4 here so if you write this e4 and you need four here so when you add another a force here like this so you get the word force in this i have highlighted the word so this is the word which we wanted so how many operations one now looking at this example b k and k b k b k like this so we want k b how many times four times k b four times and we have b k so what we do we do x plus equal to x which means i am adding x in itself to get the new string first i check if s is appearing in x then i don't need to do anything i will break this loop and i will return the number of operations initially my number of operations are zero so i will be returning zero 
if none of the operations are performed then simply s is present in x so you can uh, find a string in another string you can find this code and for python you can directly write, write if s in x so after this once s is not in x you will append x with itself so x will be now taking the example of bk so x will be bk bk and you got here kb once so how many operations you have applied one so the here the operations would be added operation plus one now we move to i am writing here the number of operations also so now we move to the loop and check if s is present in x no it is not present in now so we append x in x so now our x has become bk bk so we append here bk bk and we wanted kb four times so let's check now kb1 kb2 and kb3 so we have got three times and our operations are two here now after two operations this is the string and again we check s is present in x no not present because one kb is remaining now so we do x plus equal to x so this whole x is replicated so i am writing here again bk bk and so on till k it will be written and now you got your last kb which you wanted we wanted 4 kb in the string so we got the 4 kb now and hence our operation here becomes 3 and when we search here we find s in x and we break the loop so our answer becomes 3 so this will be the solution to our problem one more thing how many times we would be running this loop so as you can see we have a constraint that x can't be greater than 25 greater than equal to 25 so simply you can have the loop running till 25 times maximum till 25 times and we will break once s is found in x now once this loop is run and nothing is found we simply print minus 1 or else we print the number of operations so i hope you all understand the solution thanks for watching